Today, it's Oral Hygiene, where we talk about caught films, educational films. Why did I say caught first? Today is an actual educational film. I should say educational and caught films. This is Matt here. Hi, Mark. Hi, I'm Mark Malik here you to are- talk to you about safety in danger out of doors you are in of doors is that because you're staying safe yes and oh, everyone else is too I was about to safe from on. me yeah I'm, I'm gonna stroll around in snowy rice fields i might encounter some danger i might black ice oh no not black ice that's the thing about um in japan they, they're very good about like shoveling snow but then they don't put salt on it so just uh. everywhere becomes a skating rink <laughs> well, yeah, it's the whole thing where you have to take personal responsibility for for not slipping on the black ice that they don't salt. Yeah, but it's like don't shovel the snow if you're not going to salt it. Sorry, I know you're in Atlanta. None of this makes sense to you. <laughs> I know, I understand how I've, I've seen <laughs> snow before. I mean, like, and I I think we get ice more than we get snow here, frankly. True. Yeah. Angley because, ice storm. Um, all that we get more. Uh, yeah, that's that's every day. No, we uh we get more rain here than Seattle. Really? Fun fact. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun how people could just push a narrative of Seattle being super rainy all the time. And yeah, don't you don't you feel like the whole all the time you lived in Atlanta, it rained just all the time? Mm, Not necessarily, but my memories are quite removed at this point, so I don't even know. Yep, lots of rain. Now I just get rainy seasons. We 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 basically have no identity as a region and and uh, Seattle gets the rainy thing. You get to be like the hip hop capital of the dirty South. Is that still the case? I don't know. I thought I thought now we were doing mumble rap. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Well, that's uh, it's all an evolution, right? So I don't know. Yeah, I don't can know. You, I'm not can, supposed to know. Can you mumble rap? Well, is that how it works? I don't know. I guess. Yeah, I got my. I got my drugs. It's like that. Like everything is. Uh, everything is that. Um. <laughs> like a swing tempo so tell us about safety and danger out of doors uh alert uh live uh where oh, no I don't do it that way I'll, I'll kill you through the screen <laughs> if you do it that way Which <laughs> way? <laughs> i i wrote i wrote these aliens break promise number three which is speak clearly yeah that is um how am i supposed to be aware if you can't enunciate clearly <laughs> These also, uh, so anyway, I um, this is a sequel to one you've already done an episode on, and I made sure to watch that one and listen to your episode. Hi, Scott from the future. How you doing? Scott, Scott Atkinson was on it. Scott from the future. Scott from the past, but right. I'm from the future. Oh, right. But I guess he couldn't hear me if he was in the past. Right. Because he was speaking. Anyway, uh, hi, Scott in the present. <laughs> um if you're listening to this uh anyway so there is probably 20 percent recycled footage here yeah I, I think i wrote it out as three minutes of reused footage considering the film is 15 minutes it's quite a bit <laughs> so yes yeah, so the first one safety harm what is it harm at home harm um, hides at home harm hides at home harm hides at home so you need to get away from that you go out of doors and then safety there then there's danger there too right Um, everywhere is dangerous so harm hides at home came out in 1974 and this one came out in 1978 whoa notice that you notice that the one kid who was uh who got teleported off of the ladder in the first film was the one that was on the tiny skateboard that almost died in the second film Mm. wearing the same clothing so my question to you is did the aliens scoop up guardiana and all the children in 1974 and then teleport them forwards to 1978 to make the second film yes no it was like the peter jackson thing right you film them all together but you then you'd spend some time to release them ah so it's like the lord of the rings trilogy yeah exactly. there must be a third one of these <laughs> yeah it was I like the third one is like yeah the third one is safety in space and then the, the <laughs> aliens just take everyone <laughs> and everyone's just like like can't breathe because they're in space and they're and they freeze to death within 20 seconds <laughs> and, and they all just get chastised yeah they all just get chastised for not being safe <laughs> and, 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 
Yeah, I think I said last time that Guardiana is, is very condescending. Well, she's also she's living a very complex life where she is a landscape architect whose secret identity is a crossing guard, whose secret identity is a superhero who is called Guardiana, but also called Safety Woman. Mm. And, and at least a couple of times someone calls her Guardian. So I'm, that may be a third name or maybe they're just being insulting. Like no, that's because kids are get out of here. Get out of here, Guardian. <laughs> you think you are <laughs> um so let's see what, what are our our thrill spills and belly aches and this uh we get the origin story again you know they mm -hmm. didn't learn from spider-man or batman but i guess in the 70s they wouldn't know yet anyway <laughs> maybe in the 70s well, I guess... had we already told their origin stories too many times in film in comics i mean if someone i think that i don't i don't know if it's if comics were such a niche item in the seventies that just most people hadn't read them, but sixties Batman possible. doesn't have an origin. They just get straight to it. Right. Yeah. It, I don't even think they acknowledge that he ever had parents Yeah, in the cartoons or, or in the, or in the Adam West. Right. Yeah. I, I don't, uh, I was thinking about Adam West there, but uh, yeah. So I think Batman had not been overdone by this point. Because sixties Batman has them wearing like pink suits and stuff, so they wouldn't really be like focusing on that. Um, I wonder if overdone was even a concept back then. Yeah, like, he yeah. Had anyway, three TV channels. Anyway, these guys had to had a contract to knock out on a couple of safety films and uh, did that. So um, the first one is the boating incident. Is it? Yes, where it looks like someone yanks the kid off a boat with a rope. Well, <laughs> it looks like someone yanks his hat off with a rope, and then he. <laughs> does a backflip into the water yeah. and then this is just going to be me like nitpicking the crap out of this <laughs> then uh, guardiana rewinds time and you see him clearly in reverse kind of gradually getting onto the boat and then kind of like leaning against like he was just going to like he did a completely different thing in the reverse video mm. they they would have yeah life preservers are for kids and marty mcfly See, if Back to the Future hadn't come out yet, that's why they didn't want the life preservers. There were no life preservers. Life preservers. Life, life, life preservers. <laughs> there were no life preservers. There were no adults. I don't, I guess this is just part of how in the 60s you just let kids just do whatever they want. 70s. They're just like, I can't imagine. Oh, 70s, you're right. <laughs> um, I went back in time. No, it's just in, incredible to me that it's just like two seven or eight year old kids just taking a boat out. Yes. Like I, yeah. I really hope Safety Woman marries Captain Hindsight. Well, maybe. I mean, That'd be a good couple. Because <laughs> she'd tell them what they did wrong, and then Captain Hindsight would tell them what they should have done. Can he wait? Can he manipulate time? I can't remember. No, he just shows up to a disaster and like tells you what you should have done. <laughs> I'm just my brain immediately goes to that. She needs to marry someone who can also manipulate time so they can fight over things like making them go backwards and forwards. Oh, isn't that the movie Primer or something? Uh, very slowly. <laughs> right. Um, um, the, the, the movie Nightwatch had stuff like that in it. Or yeah. The movie, a little movie called The Rise of Skywalker had a little bit of that where they were like, I'm going to blow up the ship. No, I'm not going to blow, let you blow up the ship because no, we, force, we don't talk about that movie. <laughs> the force is just now whatever, whatever. I can just straight up shoot lightning and blow up a ship from just standing on the ground now. <laughs> that, I thought there were eight Star Wars movies. I thought I think there are actually seven. Oh, OK, fair enough. <laughs> Remember, we had this we had this discussion on some episode of Sci-Fi Sanctuary where I was like, maybe it should just be episodes two through eight. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I yeah. I, I was wondering what you when you're cutting out. So one is fine. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. Safety one. Oh, uh, next is the hiker who you know. Now that we know about James Franco hiking mistakes, this one seems pretty light. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She she keeps her arm and all that, so that's cool. It was also. I think this is the part where. Oh crap! I can't remember. Someone. Someone she else was. Somewhere, yeah, okay. The, I, I like how the narrative for the hiker is like told as a flashback. <laughs> like, she's like, This this also happens in the first film where she flashes back to the kid on the ladder, who will later be the kid with the skateboard. 
Uh, she's like, let me tell you about this time that I saved a hiker. And then you see that as a flashback. It's like they can't just show. It's really interesting. <laughs> I, I wrote down now the architect who's also a crossing guard who is also a superhero is telling these kids about another kid who is hiking who she also saved after saving them. Was there a flashback in the flashback as well? There was in the first one, right? Yeah, there the the latter one was a flashback in the first one. So it's just really they're like, let me tell you. It would be funny if she was like, let me tell you about this kid I saved, and then she was telling that kid about another kid she saved, and just got kept going backwards. <laughs> well, this is this is the an early iteration of the uh, Abrams puzzle box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. The MacGuffin is safety. Yeah. So uh, let's see. Oh, she did not. Safety woman did not save the skateboard, showing that she is fallible. That was a tiny skateboard. What was the deal with that? Did, right? Didn't you think that was like a tiny, weird, tiny skateboard? Well, maybe that's how they were in the 70s. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, because they were on roller skates, and then they made them a little bigger. And now you have a tiny skateboard, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I guess nobody was like bopping anybody in the pool yet. Right. Um, you can pretty seriously injure yourself at a skate park. She's like, go to the skate park, but you can, you can really <laughs> screw yourself up at the skate park as well. <laughs> it's um, that was, that was hilarious to me. How the kid who was like on the dirt bike kept, he was like, he seemed more serious about safety than safety woman was. He just kept being like, no, you must wear a helmet at all times. Even at dinner. <laughs> yeah. And all, and also he was like riding motors. So there's these kids are like riding motorcycles and skateboards and boats just all over the place. It's like, no wonder they're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then there's the, aban yeah, an abandoned car that looks like fun, I guess. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> but there's that other film, I, I guess we haven't done this podcast yet, where the kids steal a car and then go out to the forest and then find an abandoned car and pretend they're driving the abandoned car, even though they have like a real car, like over on the street. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't seen that. That sounds great. <laughs> Joyride, I believe. That's Joyride. Okay. You know, you got to space out. We, we have to space out these train and, you know, um, vehicular educational films. Because yeah, those, space, you can't just hardcore. Is, them, there are so few of them, you don't want to use them all up super fast. <laughs> well, you just don't want to, like uh, last fall, we just ended up talking about trains all the time for some reason. <laughs> well, like eight films with trains. This one even had a little bit of trains. She just says the train tracks are not a good place to play, which is probably <laughs> good advice. I mean, there's, there's bound to be like an eight year old driving a train somewhere in this town. Yeah. Right? <laughs> eight-year-old train conductor probably <laughs> but um oh I, I wrote one of guardiana's quotes here but i think i typed it wrong only stupid people forget carrie so i went <laughs> i went to, <laughs> went to hear i i wrote down a quote of hers that says sometimes the only way to avoid danger is to stay away from where the danger is at she ended her sentence with a preposition are you one yes. of the people that doesn't like that i am one of those people <laughs> <laughs> or maybe i don't maybe it's not that i don't like it but i think that it makes you sound really stupid okay i mean you know you're talking right you, you get it's amazing <laughs> we can process sentences at all when you think about it that's true maybe i'm being too harsh on the human race yeah. i retract my complaint so um did the sequel live up to the original in this case no the original was better yeah unfortunately but you know you got to do the whole series you can't just yeah. do one of them right and I guess we're finished with the series. I'm pretty sure there's not a third. You, you, That's you, a wrap. Yeah, that was a wrap. <laughs> so Guardiana did not take on. Uh, there's probably a bunch of like unsold Guardiana toys and props and stuff. I, I did a quick look on the internet and it seems like she just disappeared or or is one of the random search results that was like this name. This person with this name is 75 and lives in New York. I'm like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> not go, not gonna go look at their uh whatever record at least you got a credit right you don't always get a credit in your uh was it did she get a credit how'd you find yeah name? okay her name was i think jessica valdez okay s oh that's I, if i'm wrong then i apologize yeah okay um but yeah maybe she just went back to being an architect yeah, I mean, come on, if you're if you got stuff to do, that whole crossing guard shtick is like a big time sink. 
Maybe she um maybe she ended up hooking up with the narrator. He did say something about her being attractive in the beginning. Oh, right. That's probably what happened. I wonder if that was Captain Hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Okay. He's Captain, he was Captain Narrator. Captain Narrator. That sounds good. Yeah. Um, so is 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 there anything more to say about this one? I, I guess we cover the bases. I mean, the three finger salute is weird. I don't know if there's oh, much yeah. to say about it. <laughs> I, yeah, it should probably be the one finger salute. That'd be a lot more fun. Oh, I, I guess I haven't told the story on um, this podcast. So I'll do it. We were they were shooting videos of the little kids for the um, for the parents because we can't have like the in class parent observations and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. So um, you know, it's like every, just everyone says Merry Christmas and waves. And I see out of the corner of my eye, there's a five year old kid. Um, you know, double barreling middle fingers, smiling and <laughs> screaming "Merry Christmas!" <laughs> nice. <laughs> that he, if you ever if you start a production company, see if you can like use that video. Yeah, <laughs> Merry <laughs> Christmas. But uh, yeah, that I guess that makes him a legend. <laughs> nice Christmas legends, right? <laughs> um, uh, did you notice that in the end credits for both of these films, they they say the names of the Danger Dodgers, and then it says more Danger Dodgers, and it has like twenty more names. Those what do you think kids, that's about? They shot the footage, but they didn't put it in the movie. That's probably what it is, because <laughs> those kids <laughs> would be like disappointed that they're not on screen, right? I thought I was going to be in this movie, and then they weren't in the movie. Well, at least well, at least I'm still a Danger Dodger. And what if it's like for me? What if it's kids from that class, but it just excludes like the names of those couple of kids who like hurt themselves? Yes, yeah, I was about to say maybe those are the danger dodgers who who have died because Guardiana can't save everyone. <laughs> yeah, they just went to a hospital and found all the sick kids and put them in as more danger dodgers. <laughs> yeah, because you know Guardiana, she's she has these powers and stuff, but yeah, she can only she can only save so many. Yeah, and that's probably why she only made two films. She's just like, I can't do any more. I've, I've already saved six children. I can't do any more. Yeah, she she just entered a nihilistic state of mind and just yeah, can't do it anymore. It's everybody. She probably, no yeah, she probably like started hiding from the aliens because she knew they'd be upset with her for uh, not rescuing <laughs> kids anymore. And then they eventually, then she eventually had to change her name and move to another town. And then eventually the aliens found her and killed her. Right. And, and turned her inside out and took her spine. I can't save you because I have to save everyone or no one. <laughs> well, you know, you know what it's like when you're in your life, when you're just trying to save everybody. Mm. It just doesn't so work. You can't that, save everybody. That's the true cautionary tale of the safety series. Yeah, that's the uh, aware part. Wait, no, that's not it. <laughs> what is it? Awake, alive. Aware. It's the alive. Awake, oh, okay. aware, alive. No, the, it's the alive part. If right. you if you try to save everyone in your life, you will die. That's right. pretty much it. You're inside or or for real. So don't or save both. anybody is the only solution. <laughs> you have to you have to take a break between people you save. You have to drink some water. Just don't <laughs> don't go too far. Yeah. Just you know. Don't okay. don't try to take on a, an architect career and a crossing guard career and a superhero career all at the same time. Yeah, you and if you're going to be a superhero, don't be a lame one. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> Have a better yeah. salute or something. Um, yeah, don't don't be like the greatest American hero. Right, right. I don't, it's that, pretty much the same origin story, I think. I think I had. I think that was my Halloween costume when I was four years old. Well, that's that's a good enough Halloween costume. Yeah, that's a good Halloween. Co- I don't mean to like sound judge. Yeah, that's good enough. That's fine. <laughs> You know, yeah, that's cool. Now it'd be a great time to rock that costume. Yeah, now that we basically wist wistfully think back to the days where you didn't have to watch every episode of every series to know what was going on. Yeah. You know, was- you know, I waited like a couple of weeks to watch Hawkeye. You know what got spoiled for me? Everything that happened in Hawkeye. <laughs> I I I barely know that exists. It was actually the best one. Really? But, okay. But it was the best one, but to me, that's because nobody ever was really like flying around shooting CGI lasers at each other. So I watched it was like the, the last one I watched was WandaVision, which I did enjoy, but I was like, eh, after that. I, I enjoyed the first couple of episodes and then some of the stuff in the middle, but the ending to me was like, yeah, 
except yeah, for the guess- ship of the ship of theseus thing was cool but the rest of the ending was stupid to me right i don't know I don't think I found- don't add me people I, I burnt out on superheroes in 2021 i think is the basic yeah um well if i didn't before that i did in 2021 <laughs> Well, Endgame was a good ending, and then it's sort of like this thing where you you want to put the period on the end of the sentence, and then it just keeps going. That's yeah. what it's felt like. They, Even they, the Spider-Man movie that came out right after that, I was like, this is good, but I just feel like I don't, I feel like I don't care anymore. Right. So, curses to Endgame for that, I guess. But I got our movie yeah. to watch. Well, well I, I, like I said, if it was a- like Back to the Future, they would have just stopped. But yeah. no. Because as I've been podcasting and you find things, I mean, we've talked 20 minutes about this film that has basically nothing to talk about, right? But true. Having done a few superhero movies, it's kind of like, well, I'm just having the same conversation every time about superhero movies. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of like that. Like, if I was hoping that Shang-Chi would be different, but then there was an amazing bus fight at the beginning and then a bunch of kind of cool things in the middle. And then the end was just the same thing again yeah so i was way more excited about the the new matrix than the uh than spider-man this time around yeah me too and i haven't seen the new spider-man yet because i have covid again and it's right. in theaters <laughs> um but i did enjoy the new matrix i i liked it a lot it had it wasn't perfect but i thought it was interesting and it was valid of it was something i wanted to talk about so and I, and I did talk about it on um Matt and Luke Sci-Fi Sanctuary, one of the podcasts that I guess I'll go ahead and plug, taking your yep. segue there. Um, Do it. Yeah. This one's Oral Hygiene, available on Twitter, Facebook. You can contact us if you want, and, and maybe someone will re- respond if you're lucky. Um, all these podcasts are under the umbrella of Podcastio, Podcastius on Patreon, where we're increasingly throwing up some early episodes and might have a new trick or two up our sleeves before long. So come check it out. Yeah. You got a Twitter that doesn't do anything, I guess. Yeah. Stun runner music at Twitter at Twitter.com. Twitter.com. Twitter. It's on, on your Twitter. App. You have the app. Maybe you have the app. You don't need the dot com. Twitter app.com. Don't don't look don't. at it. There's nothing there unless there is. That's that's all I got. Um, you didn't you didn't even say stun runner, so you're just sending wait, people what did to I Twitter. Say? You're just sending people <laughs> to Twitter. Something or other at Twitter. <laughs> just go to Twitter, yeah. man. <laughs> Okay, just go to Twitter, you know, go to, go to, go to Twitter. Spend all your time on Twitter. Don't, don't actually unplug, unplug yourself from the matrix. Get your news from Twitter. Get your opinions, your... your news and opinions on Twitter.com. Get, get your medical advice from Twitter.com. Right. right. Okay. No. <laughs> Hash slash S. Don't do it. All right. Okay. I'm going to go be unsafe and go out of doors, but I guess you're being safe in of doors. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, be aware, awake, alive. That was, man, you just ran through that. That was so fast. <laughs> well, when you speed it up, it'll be even faster. Yeah. That's good. Good. Okay. Perfect. <laughs>